This tech tip video looks at using tabular space data to quickly check or edit data within the VE. We also look at how to share this data easily via Excel. The first thing to be aware of is that using tabular space data will show us different data depending on what application we are using within the VE. If we're in Model It when we click on this button, we'll see data linked to the geometry basics of the geometry that has been created, space areas with different measurements for each space, space openings, space groups, and space counts. In contrast, if we're in Apache, we see the data that will be applied to our geometry for a simulation. General information about thermal templates, space areas and volumes, system information, space conditions, internal gains, air exchanges, and comfort metrics. Within Apache, we could select a single space and use the query tool to see its data. But if we want to compare data across multiple spaces, we use tabular space data. Both have the same selection of data, but it's presented differently. The tabular display has many advantages. It is displayed in a window that we can resize and move while we work, possibly onto a second monitor. This lets us see the geometry at the same time as we're editing the data. We can pick the spaces to view before or after we open the tabular space data, and change our selection whilst viewing the data. If we have created space groups, they let us quickly select a group of spaces with a single click. We can quickly interrogate our model data here by checking and comparing data across spaces. For example, on the General tab, we can check if the correct thermal template has been assigned to each space. We can then edit a single space, or select multiple spaces, and make a single change to apply across all spaces. For example, let's correct the toilets to use the Office Toilet Thermal Template. The tabular display also gives us the ability to take data out of the VE and edit and paste it back. For example, let's use the Activity Space group and select all the meeting rooms and imagine that we're sending the gains data to the electrical engineer to check. We copy the data from the Internal Gains tab for the spaces which we've selected, and then we go into Excel and paste it. It's a very easy, straightforward process, and we can now send this spreadsheet to the engineer. Now, let's say we've got a response with a revised spreadsheet that shows the gain in the training room and boardroom is only 8 watts per square meter. We check that we've got the same spaces selected in our model, still organized by space ID so that the columns and rows match. We can then simply select all the data in the spreadsheet, use the keyboard shortcut of Ctrl-C to copy it, and return to the VE and click on Paste from Clipboard. As we do this, watch the Gains column, and you'll see that the data is now updated for those spaces. This lets us quickly share data with non-VE users and import their changes directly back into our project. We could then copy the updated data into a document for a report to, say, the owner. This is how we would use tabular space data to check and edit data within the VE and share it to other team members. Thank you for watching this quick video on Tech Tips.